Today we are going to build this mini RC airplane. This airplane is very small but very fun. Let's get started. I didn't design or draw this airplane beforehand, so I'm building it just as it comes. But you can find the plans with the final dimensions in the description below. But I would rather recommend you going to the Fly Test channel where they build a lot of great designs and a lot of different airplanes with the same material I'm using, foam board. But anyways, my goal here is to make a very small airplane. There are many ways to make a wind profile with foam board, but to keep this plane simple and light, I'm just going to curve the wing. Here I'm cutting out the ailerons, and then I'm going to put tape all over the wing to preserve the curve. And here you can see how I put the servo in place to control both ailerons. Very simple system. Now let's talk about the electronics. I'm going to use this very small and cheap motor that supports a 4-inch propeller. A compatible ESC, I modified the connector there to use a 2 cells battery. And then I modify also the ESC to have a 5 volt output. I will make a video about that later. Then we start cutting out the horizontal stabilizer and also the vertical stabilizer. But for the horizontal stabilizer, I'm going to make an incision to make the elevator move and I'm going to cut out the excess or to shape it for more aerodynamic advantage. Now, this is not necessary, but I prefer to do it. Then I'm going to cut out a little bit of angle between the elevator and the stabilizer itself to make the elevator move better. And then I'm going to sand off the leading edge so it's softer and also more aerodynamic. And now I'm cutting the vertical stabilizer. Almost the same principle applies to it. Now for the vertical stabilizer I'm not going to cut a control surface or rudder because I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna have three channels in total, one for the motor, another for elevator and the third one for the ailerons. This is a very good technique to hold the airplane in place while the tail is glowing or you're just working on the airplane. And then it's time to finish the fuselage and to put the electronics in place. I like this technique of using a plastic bag to mix the epoxy glue. 
It is less messy and it's also very good for applying the glue, just making a little hole in the plastic bag and squeezing it out. For the push rod I'm going to use a barbecue skewer and I'm going to glue aluminum wire to each end so I can bend it and connect it to the servo and the elevator itself. It's time to test the electronics and see how they are doing. In case you were wondering, this is the receiver I'm using, compatible with Flysky and it's 4 channels and it's really really small and light. Links of all the products I'm using in the description below. I finished. The total weight without the battery is 87 grams, which is very good. If we add the battery is 103 grams, which is very good considering that the motor is capable of around 80 grams of thrust. And as you can see, it flies very good. My plan was to make a trainer airplane, very small one, but this airplane doesn't fall in that category because it is very touchy. I think the ailerons are too big, and although I programmed the radio to have a very decent dual rate and exponential, still needed a bit of quick response to maintain it. For the next video I'm planning to take one of the designs from Flytest and make it here. Since the plans are already made and are free to download, everybody will have access to them. I will make it from scratch and not with a spilled bit kit. Now it's time for you to see the little man Lego pilot flying this airplane. I hope you like this video and if you want me to keep doing these videos, take 0.3 seconds of your time to click the like button and leave in a comment. I'll see you in the next project.